Over in Bishkek, Qatar and Kyrgyzstan signed multiple agreements as the Emir continues his tour. Qatar Charity steps up to fund the cash-trapped UN Palestinian Refugee Agency. A fake bomb scare delays a Qatar Airways flight to Doha. And finally, Qatar's under-23 footballers bounce back with 10 men. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar and Kyrgyzstan signed a number of agreements during an official Emiri trip to Bishkek on Tuesday. Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani met with President Sadir Japarov in the capital as part of a Central Asia tour. The two countries have agreed to establish and operate cultural centers, cooperate in sports, and venture into banking, agriculture, and food security. The third leg of the tour will take the Emir to Kazakhstan, where, where he is due to speak at the Astana conference. Now, Qatar Charity announced a $1.17 million contribution to the UN's Agency for Palestinian Refugees. The funds will go towards helping UNRWA provide healthcare access to thousands in the besieged Gaza Strip for at least two years. This is a crucial lifeline for the UN agency, which has struggled with a dire financial crisis for years. On Friday, the UN said the refugee agency is, quote, on the brink of financial collapse due to chronic underfunding over the past decade. Over in India, hundreds of passengers on board a Qatar Airways flight to Doha were evacuated after a bomb scare. According to local reports, a man began shouting that there was a bomb on the aircraft moments before takeoff. The Qatar Airways crew quickly mobilized to remove passengers from the plane to investigate. However, no devices were found and the man was detained by authorities in India. And finally, Qatar's under-23 team kicked off their Maurice Ravello tournament campaign with a 4-3 penalty shootout win in Group B. The young al Annabi team drew nil-nil with Australia's under-23s in normal time, with centre-back Mohamed Imad Ayash receiving a red card in the 94th minute. Next up for the under-23s is a fiery match against South American side Mexico on Friday. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.